Okay guys, I just thought I'd make a video on uh, RG Colorado refract install. Uh, I've got a 2015 model. I was sort of looking for videos on YouTube how to do it. Couldn't come across that many too helpful. So this, so I'm hoping this helps a few people out if they ever look to put a flat roof platform on. Um, it isn't the Rhino rack system. It's just a, um, a Chinese knockoff of it but I think it would do the job for what I'm looking at doing, just an awning and maybe some max tracks. Um, so that should do the trick, so yeah. So here's the platform, got from some company up in Sydney for, I think it was 600 bucks, something like that. So you can see straight away, it's not the same quality as a, as a bloody Rhino rack system, but um, yeah, it should do the trick. So I'll show you guys little bits of how I do it. So I had to go to the Rhino Rack um, Colorado roof track installation. Um, just get some measurements from there. So I measured the 230 mil, which bring us to there. And I sort of just bring up the roof ditch um, cover to try and locate the holes for the front bracket. Um, so yeah, got that, pulled it back and you don't know if you can see in there, there's a bit of a semicircle and it's filled with um, goop. And then I just went back and you can see the rear rear mount there. So that should sit something like that. Um, so I can cut, now I can cut the forward one and I know where the rear one is, so I can cut that. Um, I haven't done the back one yet, but we'll get to that one. And then once we've sort of cleaned that goop out, located the threads for the bolts we can um chuck a whole bunch of silicon in there put some paint around the threads and whatnot just to stop it corroding and going all gross in the future so yeah another thing i thought i should mention is just put a bit of aluminium tape or i don't know a couple of layers of masking tape if you don't have that to just to protect the um your paint and use plastic spatulas all right, so we've made the cut of the roof gutter. Um, as I said before, 230 mils back from the start of the steel or the roof measure. And that will reveal that hole there and that should sit nicely like that. I'm gonna clear the holes out now and then I'll show you what it's like. Cool, so I made the cut, got the rubber out um, cleaned up the holes, just poked it through with a bit of a screwdriver, tried to clean up the threads a bit so it doesn't stop the bolt going through. A um, pair of aviation snips works really well to cut, cut that rubber cutter mould. Um, so there is a bit of steel in there, I don't know if you can see that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do the rear now. So the measurement for that back here, from this original mark you made, the 230 from the front, you want to go 1190, I believe it was. And it will give you a little mark there. You can't see that on the camera, unfortunately, but there it is there. And gonna do the same from that. That's the rear, that's the rear mark now. And then I'll come forward from that and that will give me the holes and I'll line up the bracket and I should know where they are. Cool, as you can see, done the front, done the rear and um, the brackets line up nicely which is good uh, but yeah it wasn't too hard to get through those little protective coatings just poke it with a screwdriver give it a nice clean out um, and then what I'm going to do next is chuck a whole bunch of silicon under there because that still lifts up a bit and the rear there same at the front duplicate the process um, yeah, they put a nice bead all over there so it stops the water getting down the threads. I'm also going to put some nice corrosion preventative on the threads just to just to help because you don't want water getting in there. Um, and then yeah, I'll mount the mount the brackets up and repeat on the other side. All right, so we just finished installing the left hand um, brackets to the roof. You can see silicon around the edges just to try and stop that water intrusion 
all throughout there. Yeah, came out pretty all right, not too shabby. Pretty happy with it. Here's the rear one, seems very strong. Um, yeah, measurements were perfect. Bit of space on either edge, you can sort of see. That's that side done. Time to do the other side. All right, so brackets are mounted both sides now. <clears throat> Time to get the actual backbone system on. We'll get it nice and lined up and then see how it goes. Might need to make some adjustments on it, but it shouldn't be a problem. All right, guys, roof rails are on. They're not fully tight yet. Um, just gonna place the actual platform on it first and see how it looks and line it all up before I tighten everything. But um, yeah, as you can see, it looks looks pretty nice. It's come up, come up really good actually. Pretty happy with it. Um, now I did do a slight uh, measurement from the front of the windscreen again to the front of the actual uh, Rhino. Oh, not Rhino, buddy backbone system um, just to try and measure both sides up as evenly as I could before I put the platform on just so things go a bit better hopefully so yeah I'll put the platform on and I'll get back to you another thing I thought I'd mention quickly it does come with all the hardware that you need um, yeah so you don't need to buy any extra screws or bolts or anything like that you just need a few basic basic tools that you should have in your garage. I did have to buy these. These are just six or seven bucks from Bunnings, just the cheap brand, because probably only gonna use it once, so I don't need to buy a proper brand. Uh, tape measure, some tapes and that. Um, yeah, that's all you really need. So it just attaches under there with a little, a bit hard to see, a little sort of biscuit. That one's sitting loose at the moment. And you're just gonna try and thread the bolt in. It works good. All right, so you've got the roof platform on. Uh, it's just sitting there loose at the moment. I'm gonna tighten her up once I've finalized the measurements. I'm gonna tuck that, um, the antenna under, under it, so it's not in the way. Um, but yeah, overall pretty, pretty happy with how it looks so far. It's not too hard actually. Um, yeah, it's taken me what? Just over two hours now, two hours and 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. I think anyone with some basic DIY knowledge can do it. And yeah, the main reason I got this one as well was I was worried about the snorkel fouling. Um, but as you can see, there's plenty of space there. This is on the, like one of the rear settings. You can go back another one, you can see. But um, even this was slid right backwards just to leave some space for the snorkel. Might even put it forward again, but for the meantime, I think that's okay. But yeah, 